Hey guys and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer and this is a brand new Let's Play. It's episode 1 of Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirror. If this is your first time here on Yak Wax Lips and I only create adventure game content. Things like Broken Sword, Monkey Island, all the old school classics through to brand new games that are coming out just this week. So if you love adventure games as much as I do, please point and click over the like, hit subscribe for more and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Just a quick word on this game. I have played it several times before, but then I did say that about the original Broken Sword, which I've just finished. And I um, I only remembered about half of that. So we're gonna be doing about 25 minutes uh, per episode and it takes as long as it takes. I plan for them to be pretty much daily. And yeah, so make sure you turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any of those. I also, if you really super duper enjoy my um, content and want to support me even more, do have a Patreon where you can get your name in the credits at the end of every single video I create, plus a few little bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, go and check that out on patreon.com forward slash yakwaxlips. I'll leave a link somewhere um, on the screen and down below. That's pretty much what I want to say, except for, because it is episode one, the more likes on this video, the better. Um, I'll, only, I'll only ask for this once about the whole series, he says quite confidently. Um, but, but because the more likes it gets, the more it gets pushed out to people. Right, okay, let's go and play the original Smoking Mirror. This must be the place, Professor Ubier's house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching the story. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. And we're right into the action straight away. I do remember from this game that yes, you can die, and that's one of the reasons I'm mainly playing the original version. So um, yeah, let's see if we can get out of here quick. I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy of How to Deal with Poisonous Spiders While Tied to a Chair. No such luck. But I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Aha. Loose block of wood. Where? Aha. 
There it is. Oops. Sorry, Spider. Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. Of course, I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. I must say, the start of this game is awesome. Like, the scope of it already. From 90... what was it? 97? 98? Something like that? Good stuff. Right, so we're out. With one mighty bound, our hero was free. <laughs> now, I had to deal with that fire. Right, let's go deal with that fire. Just like the first Broken Sword as well, I have played this, like I said at the start, several times. Um, I played the intro quite a lot, so I kind of know what to do here. But I'll try Inside, and, uh, I found a bottle of tequila. I'll try and take it slow. Normally, I didn't drink strong spirits, but today was far from normal. Ew. Disgusting. Not only did the tequila burn like hell, I just managed to stop myself from swallowing the worm. That's right, because they have, they put worms in tequila, don't they? Or we can pick up there the worm. There was something short, fleshy, and gross on the carpet. It was the worm from the bottle of tequila. Nice. Can we pick up the rest of the tequila? I drunk enough of that. No. Where's our inventory? Okay, so that's us. That's our saving stuff. There's our inventory. Can we left click on it? Right click on it? It was that itsy bitsy tequila worm. I really must remember to take it out of my pants before <laughs> I send them to the laundry. Is there a drawer? There is a drawer. There's always a drawer. In the drawer was a small decorated pot. Okay, sorry if that went off very briefly there um, already. The, uh, because it is an old version, things do um, go wrong sometimes. It just stopped and started again. Right. Highly artistic, but of very little practical use. Okay. Um, I guess this fire just keeps going. Oh, let's get Nico's bag. It was a stylus little canvas number containing a lipstick, a handwritten note, and a pair of nylon panties with a large love heart emblazoned across the front. It occurred to me that Nico's tastes must have really changed while I was away. Well, they could be useful. <laughs> I mean, episode one started, you mean to go on. Leave the quite useful bag that you can put things in. And just take the panties. Right, is this a note? Did he say? I guess I had no business reading the note, but I figured it might give me a clue to what Nico was involved in. It was from Andre Labano, the history student Nico had known at college. The letter was sentimental mush, and revealed that the exotic lingerie, as he called it, was a gift from him. It gave his telephone number. Labano figured himself as a rival for Nico's affections, but I couldn't believe that that creep was in the running. Ugh, Labano. It was Nico's lipstick. It wasn't my color, and it reminded me of clowns. Right, let's carry on. Let's get out of this joint. That dart was sharper than a mosquito's business end. But this didn't deter me from getting it anyway. Right, okay. So, like I said, I know in this one you can die. I could have died from the spider, um, but I think I have to wait there for like 10 minutes or something. For two, and I wasn't going to sit there and just do that. So, maybe I'll do a little outtake thing where I do die. Maybe that's the last video there. I wasn't going to touch the box after that spider had been inside it. Okay. We need to put this fire out. There was no pressure in the siphon. I guess it was out of gas. Um, can I open the cabinets? Get too close to the fire. The cabinet was locked. Pick it. Oh no, that's not my inventory. Oh, oh <laughs> this is going to be confusing. First one, that's my inventory. Right, can I lock pick it with the dart? Oh, blimey. That genuinely made me jump. As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. Cylinder. That cylinder was hot. I couldn't pick it up with my bare hands. Uh, what have we got? Oh, I've got to stop doing that. Uh, panties. The panties I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap around the hot cylinder. Right, so we now have a... <laughs> How many times is that? Three. Uh, right, so I guess we have to use the cylinder with the uh, siphon. Give it some, give it some gas.
The cylinder gave out a faint hiss as the valve opened. All right, did it work? <laughs> yes, it worked. Now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. With a well-aimed squirt of his soda fountain, our unshakable hero saved the day. Now it was time to start looking for Nico. Right, let's go straight out. Mm, should I go straight out? I don't think I need anything else here. Yeah, let's go straight out. If I need it, I'll come back. Probably. I wasn't going to burn myself on that red-hot doorknob. And it wasn't the time for subtlety. <gasps> oh, yes. What a hero. This looks like something. News cutting. And then we can call Lobinone. I'd found a piece of newspaper folded in two. It referred to a forthcoming eclipse of the sun. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be visible from Europe. The best place to view the eclipse would be Mexico. Well, I guess Mexico's on the agenda. All right, let's call Lobino. Much as I disliked him, Lobino might be my only hope of finding Nico. Hi, Andre. Who is this? It's George Stobart, Nico's boyfriend. Don't you mean ex-boyfriend? Look, I didn't call you just to pick a fight. I need to talk to you about Nico. Can't you accept she's just not interested in you? Listen, Andre, we need to talk. Nico's life depends on it. Okay. You remember the cafe at Montfaucon? Sure. Rude. Andre, you better show, you creep. <laughs> I felt an irrational urge to wipe my ear. Right, let's go back to Montfaucon. Which way shall we go? That's out. Go in here. This looks like it could be a living room or something. Locked. It was locked. Okay. Never mind. Oh, what? The door was locked. I didn't fancy my chances of kicking this door down. Aha, uh -huh. there's a drawer there. Oh, draw mm, that doesn't work. Uh, right, save menu is not going to help. Uh, can we pick the lock on this one? The tiny point was only of use for picking small locks. Mm, okay, so maybe, maybe I've missed a key somewhere. Let's go see if we can unlock this one. The tiny point was only of use for picking small blocks. Yes, we get you. Um, there wasn't anything else here, was there? No. Um, right, okay, there's nothing there. I feel like I've missed something. <laughs> I've played this game loads of times. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, 12 minutes in. And I'm like, I need some help. Oh, that's another thing. Please do not shout out in the comments what I need to do unless I ask for it because that's just ruining it, isn't it? I know there's a bunch of you that always chip in, which is delightful. I love it when you when when I ask for help and you give me little tips. That's nice. Please just don't go shouting out. You're an idiot. You've obviously missed something plain. Right. I wasn't going to touch the buck. Come on. What about this burst cylinder? I couldn't think of a you. Uh, oh, what was that? Oh, that was just a cabinet. Siphon. Can we take the siphon? I oh, don't squirt yourself in the face again, George. Don't. Oh, no. Put it in your... Put, squirt it in the box. Okay, he doesn't need that again. Let's walk over here. Anything? Oh, writing bureau. That's just the same thing, isn't it? Mm. Closed it. Can we pick up the candlestick now? Highly artistic, but... Ooh. Nice couple. Okay. Okay, squished spider. The bookcase had fallen on its front, making it impossible to reach the books inside. Fair enough. What about the rope? Oh, I could pick up rope. The rope was shredded and no possible use to me. Hmm, squished spider. I wasn't touching that spider goo. Spider goo. Um, I don't think there's anything here. Have we got anything in my inventory that can knock down a little? Maybe there's... 
The pot contained Aha. a key. Boombastic. It looked like a house key. Of course, you keep a key in a pot. That's why they call me the point and click adventurer. Or rather, I call myself the point and click adventurer and hope in vain that you guys do too. One day it'll stick. Right. Let's go and open the door and go and see that creep Lobino. I'm presuming it's the front door. I unlocked the door. Brilliant. I wasn't looking forward to meeting Labano again, but he was my only link with Nico. <laughs> Is that the same police man? There was no sign of Labano when I got to the cafe. I decided to order a coffee and wait for him. Let's talk to the man. Pardon me. But don't I know you? Huh? You were here the, the day I found the catacombs. I was? Ah, yes. I remember you. Yeah. Are you still in the police force? No, not anymore. I'm a man of leisure. And what brings you back to Paris? His voice was like, And what brings you back to Paris? That's what it should be like. He's a bit too gruff. Never mind. Uh, let's ask about Lobino. No, Nico. My girlfriend. What it is to be young and in love. Can you share a bottle of wine with me? Hey, listen, I'd love to, but I need to keep a clear head. So my company isn't good enough for you. Ooh, okay. Um, him. Why did you leave the police? I was forced to retire. The golden handshake. Only in my case, it was more copper than gold. How come? I was made a scapegoat to cover up the department's inefficiencies. <laughs> I have a feeling that's my fault. Have you ever heard of a Professor Oubier? No, monsieur. I don't recall the name. Well, apparently he's an expert on Mayan art and history. A little out of my field of experience, monsieur. If he'd been a serial killer or a sodomite, I might have been able to help. Oh, can we not ask about anything now? Oh, oh, I can get... I was, oh, there's something there. Flask. Let's get the flask. I couldn't snatch the man's flask while he was looking. Touch the waiter. Oh, garçon. He's gone. He ignored me. I'm sure it was deliberate. Wow. Let's wait till he moves. Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to time it. So when he drinks, I can steal the flask. Go on, drink it. Drink it. Is he going to drink it? He's not going to drink it. Let's talk to him again. About the... Oh, yeah, about that. What's that you're drinking? It's wine. It's wine. Just wine. What do you make of this dart? Ah. I remember a case where the victim was killed with just such a device. The poison acted in seconds, causing his body to swell up like an inflatable life raft. <laughs> All right, fair enough. What do you make of this news cutting? Orphanage supplied fast food chain? No, it's the article above that. Oh! Total eclipse of the sun. Well, that's very dull in comparison. I don't know anything about eclipses. Tell me what you make of this note. From my years of experience, I gained a pretty good insight into handwriting. I'd say that note was written by a compulsive, obsessive type with an Oedipus complex. Hey, you've got just about everything apart from the ponytail. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I get... I mean, ooh, let's it was go in. too hot to sit inside the cafe. Besides, I might miss Labino. Never mind. Can we... Put a worm in his glass. No. I don't want to talk to him about the worm. He wouldn't have wanted that. No, okay. So, let's try again. The man was still looking. Right, now he's drinking. The man ah, was still looking. No, okay. So, oh, this, I've got a feeling the waiter's going to come out in a minute. I don't just want to sit here for, uh, oh, ha, here he comes, right. Now, 
The man was still looking. No, he's not working. Hey, you. Hey, you. Qua. I'd like a cup of coffee if you don't mind. When I finish serving this gentleman. Now is he gonna? Do you think he's gonna bring me a coffee? Or do you think he's gonna be arrogant? Hmm. The thing is, if I exit here, I don't really have. Oh, is a coffee. He's all right. It's fine. I have a coffee. Un café. Thanks. Um. Lobino. Do you know a guy called Andre Lobino? Oui. I know him. What of it? Well, I'm supposed to meet him here. Did I miss him? No. I have not seen him today. Oh. Have you heard of Professor Ubié? Oui. He married that actress, the little Dachshund. They used to come here. The nutty professor and the movie star. If Ubié's wife was a movie star, how come I never heard of her? She was big in France. The world doesn't stop at Hollywood. Her stage name was Carol Climax. She died in suspicious circumstances. Oh, do you think that's what Nico was on? How did Ubié's wife die? I heard he shot her. And got away with it? He had a good lawyer and a watertight alibi. Why would an eminent public figure like Ubié risk everything for murder? He wouldn't be the first, would he? Besides, people like him always get off. Do you know that man over there? I should think so. He's a regular customer. Alcohol. This looks like a flask. What does that guy keep pouring out of his flask? Absinthe. Absinthe? I thought that was highly dangerous and outlawed in France. It is. Don't look at me. I didn't sell it to him. <laughs> look at this. A poison dart. Now we. Oui. Sure. It's the real thing. Knocked my girlfriend out cold in a matter of seconds. Romantic. Sounds like a real close relationship you have going. <laughs> That's very funny. That's all. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Goodness, he's gone. Oh, here's Lobino. Here's the swine. Well, well, this is a surprise, Georgie. I wouldn't normally call you. But Nico's in trouble, Andre. Deep trouble. You have to help me find her. What? What have you dragged her into this time? It was you that recommended Professor Ubié as an expert on Mayan art. Now his butler has kidnapped her. And he tried to kill me. Every time she gets involved with you, there is trouble. Walking out on her was the best thing you could do. My father was dying, dammit. I had no choice. Well, she soon recovered once she went back to her old friends. Drop it, Andre. Right now, Nico's in danger, and we have to work together. So, how can I help? Nico needed to speak to Ubié about a stone. Oh, you mean this stone? So that's what all the trouble's about. Precisely. Nicole told me to guard it with my life. Well, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh my god, you mean I could be in danger too? Oh dear, Andre in danger, what a shame. Uh, we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Uh, we've had a pretty raucous start. You know, we've had a fire. We've had uh, a deadly spider. We've had a teeny tiny tequila worm. And then we've got another worm right here in Lobino. Um, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. I will be bringing out the next episode um, tomorrow. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.